I just had like a mini freak out. What's wrong with me? Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna do my update for my ripstick. I was gonna say ripstick. My lipstick roulette for you guys, and I know I haven't updated in a while, but I kind of. I don't know, I'm going through phases where I'm loving wearing lipstick and then other phases where my lips just feel super dry and I don't want to wear lipstick at all. So I'm having a hard time or just this month, I guess, I was having a hard time with wearing lipstick and getting a full review on all of the items that I picked out previously. I did find other items in my collection that I wanted to declutter as well. So I'm going to go through those with you also. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through everything and tell you what I liked about the lipsticks and what I didn't like and which ones I'm going to be decluttering and which ones I'm going to be keeping. So if you guys want to check that out, stay tuned. And then also I'm going to pick out lipsticks for my next lipstick roulette coming up as well. So stay tuned for that at the very end. So I guess I'll start with what is on my lips today. I have the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ludwig, Ludwig on my lips today. I am going to insert clips while I'm talking about this of me actually applying them. I had to refilm a bunch of my applications because a lot of my footage got um, corrupted for whatever reason. I'm really not sure what happened, but... I'm really dissatisfied about that and I had to refilm a couple of videos a couple times and it has been obnoxious. So anyways, <laughs> I filmed all of my or most of my swatches today, the ones that I didn't previously lose in my footage corruption. So sorry about that. You're going to see this look in all of them or most of them. This is the lipstick that I am wearing today. I love this. It's such a neutral, like kind of like a concealer color on my lips, but a little bit darker than that. And I really like this very neutral light lip with a darker eye look. That's why I chose this to wear today. And it's so soft on the lips. Like I cannot even tell you how freaking soft this is on my lips. Like my lips don't feel dry at all. They don't feel like moisturized and I don't really want to rub them together, but they feel just nice in general. Like I don't feel like I need to put chapstick on right now as I normally do with liquid lipsticks. And I just really, really enjoy this one. I want to try out more of her everlasting liquid lipstick formula, but honestly, you guys know I'm on a no buy right now, so I won't be doing that. But maybe during the Sephora VIB sale at the end of the year, I might pick up like one or two just to, just to try some other shades. Or maybe if I get some more little samples of these, that would be a good idea as well. Cause I don't really go through these very quickly. But yeah, I've been loving this formula. I've worn this multiple times. I've worn it to work a couple times and it's so soft on the lips. It doesn't rub off right away and I don't feel like I need to re reapply it like every 10 minutes. And yeah, I just really enjoy this. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. So another one that I have here from this last one was the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Napa Valley. This one is like the purple shade. Let me give you a swatch of this one. I also swatched this on my lips and I tried to wear it all day long. Seriously? It's so freaking purple. And it's so like, it's so purple, it's so metallic. It's just, it looks wrong on my lips. Like I even thought I was like, well maybe I could keep this one for like a Halloween look or something like that. I just don't like it. That's just how simply it is. The formula was really nice. Like I did like the formula a lot. This one I would definitely have to wear with a lip liner. Um, but honestly, I don't, I'm not going to wear purple. I'm just, I'm not going to wear this. And there's no point of keeping this in my collection if I'm not going to wear it. Also, the smell is weird. I don't know if all of these smell like this. I do have another one in my collection that I'm going to smell and see if it's bad. Because I don't want to pass this along if it's bad. But... The smell is just like really, it's very chemically smelling and I just don't like that. So I didn't enjoy this one at all. I tried to wear it a couple different days, not to work or anything like that because I would look crazy at the hospital. But I did try to wear it a couple days like around the house and just see how I liked it. And it rubbed all over my lips. It just got everywhere. It looked terrible. It got on my shirt. I just... No, too much work for that one and I just won't be using it. So I am going to be decluttering this Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Napa Valley. So one of my other favorites from this sec or this other round of picks was the Buxom Wildly Whipped White, White Lake. Oh my God, I always, I always had the hardest time freaking pronouncing this one. Wildly Whipped 
lightweight liquid lipstick in the shade Devious Dolly. I will insert a clip here, but this is such a beautiful neutral color for me. It's definitely on like the pink neutral side, but this is so velvety soft on your lips. Like literally, it's almost like a my skin but better, but like a my lips but better type of color because it is so soft on the lips and it just looks so like refreshingly natural on your lips. Like it doesn't look like you're trying to wear a ton of li liquid lipstick basically. It doesn't look like it's so off on color that it just looks kind of weird. But here it is swatched here. I really, really like this formula. It is very velvety, same as the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It doesn't dry down completely, but it does have like somewhat of a drying effect. Because the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D is very drying, like there's nothing coming off of my hand from my lips, like literally nothing. It's not gonna go anywhere. This one, if you rub it a little bit harder, it will get on your lips just a tiny bit. But honestly, I don't think it's enough to get, get rid of. I, I just, I really, really like this one and the color is perfect. I'm definitely gonna see myself wearing this in the summertime. I really, really like this formula. It's the same thing as the Kat Von D one, it's so, just like moisturizing, but not at the same time. It's very weird. Like my lips feel good and I don't feel like I need to moisturize, but they definitely don't feel dry either. And I would honestly recommend this formula to you guys if you don't like those butthole lip type of looks, you know what I mean? When it's so drying that it feels like you have cracking butthole lips on your mouth. Like I just, I don't like that at all, but this one worked really, really well, and I really enjoy this one a lot. I did wear it on quite a few different occasions, and I really enjoyed it, and I got compliments on it, so definitely would recommend this one, and I will definitely be keeping it. So I have one that I was on the fence about, but I think I made up my decision on it. This is the Wet n Wild lipstick, and it is the 99 cent lipstick version, and this one's in the shade Ready to Swoon. Um, I don't know. This one is like a very pink, like shimmery color. And I thought I was gonna keep it, but I think at this point I am gonna be decluttering this. I put it on again today to do my swatch video all over again, as you guys can see that I'm in the same exact look today. But I put it on today again, I thought I was gonna keep it, and then I was just like, man, I just, I don't feel like I'm ever gonna wear it. And that's the main problem. I like it, I think it looks good, I think it's a very nice summer color. I don't see myself reaching for this at all. Like, this has been in my collection for just a, like a hot minute. It only costs 99 cents, so I'm not too bad, I'm, ta I'm not too sad about it. But I just, I don't think I'm gonna wear this. It's very soft on the lips. You do have to reapply multiple times throughout the day to keep the color there, but it just kind of looks off on my lips. Like I wore it and I think I wore it to teach one day and I just, I wasn't completely happy about my lips and my, just my look that day. Not my eye look, but just like my lips in general. I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite. Here it is swatched next to Devious Dolly. I just think it's too light for me. I think it's too light and it's too shimmery. If I want like a shimmery color like that, I go for a gloss. I love glosses, I've worn glosses ever since I was young. Like, and I mean young when they had like those little roller, lo roller glosses from like smackers. I don't know. I used to love glosses and I still do. And this reminds me of a gloss without being a gloss. And I don't like that. If it's a gloss, I want it to be a gloss. I feel like this one doesn't really know what it wants to be. It doesn't really want to be a, a lipstick because it's not really like thick enough to be a lipstick, but it doesn't, it's not going to be a gloss either because it's just, it's not lightweight enough to be a gloss. Do you guys know what I mean? I don't know. Like I said, I was going to keep it and now I think I've completely made up my mind. I'm definitely going to be decluttering this Wet n Wild. I do like the color. I just wish the formula was a little bit different. So I'm going to be decluttering this one. The next one I have here is the Tartist Lip Paint in the shade XOXO. I did get this in a BoxyCharm and honestly, I thought I was going to declutter this. I really did, but I just really like this color on me. I hate that I like it so much because with this one, I have to wear it with a lip liner. I did swatch it today. I don't have a very good swatch of it because I don't have a lip liner on, but I did wear it today. And 
I, I really, really like this color on me. I think this is a very, very good red on me, and I really do enjoy it, but this one is definitely one I need a lip liner with because it goes outside of my lines and it does feather over time, which I'm not completely mad about because most of my darker colors do feather, but this one in particular, it needs a lip liner. It really does. And here's a swatch of it here on my hand. Something I will say about this formula is it does completely dry down. So I make sure I moisturize and then I do a lip liner and then I do this on top. And if you want to reapply this, I would suggest taking it all the way off and redoing the formula because the formula is very drying. When you try to reapply it, it just doesn't apply the correct way and it doesn't look right when you try to reapply it but it does dry down completely I really really do like this one the smell is a little bit weird on this one too but I know it's not bad because I just recently got it in a boxy charm not too long ago like a couple months ago I think at the end of 2017 so I am gonna be keeping this one I really do like this red I don't see myself wearing it all too much but in the summertime I can definitely see myself wearing it so I plan to do that and yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this in my collection. The next lip product I have here is the Pure Lip Lure Hydrating Lip Lacquer in the shade Fancy. This is like the mauve nude color of the collection and this one definitely has like a satin metallic type of finish, but it's the right color. So honestly, if this color was a bit different, I wouldn't be keeping it. I really do like this because of the color though. The color is like the perfect mauve tone for me and the formula is so nice on the lips. It's right here swatched on my hand. It's so nice on the lips. It's very hydrating on the lips, which honestly the hydrating lip lacquer totally works for this name. I do like the brand Pure as well. They have a lot of good um, ingredients in their cosmetics and their makeup and their lip products. I really do like that about them. And I do like this formula. This is getting quite old. So I would want to use this up relatively soon, like maybe by the end of the year, I'd like to have this used up. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I do like it. It's not an everyday color and it definitely does smudge if you wipe your lips because it doesn't dry down. But I'm okay with that because when you reapply it, you can easily reapply it and it still looks nice. It does go outside of my lip line just a little bit if I'm not paying close enough attention, but I really do like this one. I would definitely recommend it if you like more of the softer, hydrating, more moussey type of texture on your lips. I like that about it and I don't mind the applicator at all. I know a lot of people don't like this type of kind of like twisting push-up applicators, but I don't mind it at all. I really do like this product and I'm definitely gonna keep it in my collection. So one that I am gonna be decluttering from my collection is the LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil in the shade Pretty Pink. I don't think I have a swatch video of this one, but that's okay. I wore it once and I was like, no, this isn't gonna work for me. Here is the color here. It is definitely like a blue, pink, bright type of color. I do like this type of color, but it did make my teeth look very, very yellow, which I don't like. You guys know that I do like the bright pinks for the summertime, but this color is just, it's off for me. It doesn't look right on my lips and the formula sucks, <laughs> to be completely honest. I got this at the dollar store. I just wanted to try it out, the Dollar Tree to be exact, and I wanted to try it out, but to be completely honest, this sucks. Here is what it looks like. I would recommend that you do not pick this up. If you see it, it is truly a waste of a dollar. And as you can tell, like I barely used it because I used it one time and I knew immediately that I didn't like it at all. It is not opaque on the lips either. So it just like gave my lips like the hint of color and then you could like see my lips right through it. And also it settled into every single one of my lines on my lips. No, not worth it. Waste of money, I just, no way. Definitely getting rid of this. I don't even know if I wanna like offer it to a friend because it sucks that bad. I, I might end up just throwing this away because I don't like to offer things to my friends if I hate it that much, you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll see about that. But yeah, this is definitely getting decluttered immediately. The next lip product I have is from NYX. Woo! It is the NYX Whipped, 
liquid lipstick, I guess it is, in the shade Cocoa Bean, and I love this one <laughs> so much. This formula is very similar to the Buxom formula that I talked about earlier and similar to the Ludwig from Kat Von D Ludwig formula, the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick formula. I love this shade. It is like my perfect neutral brown color. Um, it is definitely a little bit sheer on the lips, but it gives your lips enough of a tint that it definitely looks like you have something on your lips, but it doesn't look crazy. Like, if you get outside of your lip line, that's fine. Like, I can reapply this all day long without a mirror and not have to check myself and make sure that it looks okay. And that's how I feel about glosses, too. Like, with a gloss, I don't feel like I have to check my lips all the time. So this formula actually reminds me a little bit more of a glossy-type formula, but it definitely has a little bit of color. Here it is swatched here. I really enjoy this one. I would definitely look into picking up more colors in this range, and the smell is so delicious. It definitely has a vanilla scent to it, and I love vanilla. So definitely going to be keeping this one super comfortable on the lips. It does not dry down, and it's not sticky either, which I really appreciate. It has, like, no stickiness to it at all, like most glosses do. And, yeah, I just, I really enjoy this one. I have worn this over top of, like, drying down liquid lipsticks before just to give it a little bit more moussiness, and I've really enjoyed it. So definitely keeping this one. It was in my everyday makeup drawer for a while, and I liked it then, but I wanted to give it, like, a full review and try it out for quite a few days in a row just to make sure it was something I wanted to keep and I definitely do so I plan on using this some more this year and enjoying it so this one's definitely getting in the keep pile the last one that I'm going to be decluttering is one of these pure lipsticks this is the lip lure hydrating lip lacquer and this one is in the shade mystic so I've already talked about the formula I love the formula it's really a good formula I really enjoy it but with this one, the reason why I am decluttering it is because of the color. I'm not sure that I have a clip using this one because when I put it on, I pretty much took it off right away because I didn't like it. But here is the color here. It's definitely more of like a grape berry tone color, which is okay. I don't mind the color, but the color with this formula doesn't work. The combination is not okay. <laughs> like this type of color I want in something that's going to completely dry down and not move about my lips. Like I said with the other one, the lighter color, it was, a, it was okay that it kind of moved around my lips a little bit because it was that lighter tone color. But with this one, that is a color I don't want going anywhere but where I put it. And this immediately went all outside of my lip line and I was like, no. And I remember wearing this in the past and I didn't like it, but I couldn't remember why I didn't like it. And it's definitely because this shade with this formula just does not work. Honestly, if you're into these tones and you like this kind of shade, you might like this formula, but for me, I don't really wear this shade very much at all anyways. And when I do, I want it to stay in place. So this just didn't work for me. I'm definitely going to be decluttering this one. I'm going to be keeping the other one because of the shade differences. But yeah, this one in Mystic, definitely a no-go for me. Then I have two more lipsticks that I'm going to be keeping this time around. This one is the Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick, and this one is in the shade 700 Sand. This is a perfect shade for me for every day. I'm going to swatch it next to the NYX um, whipped one, just so you guys can see the shade difference. This one is the Revlon and this one is the NYX. So you can tell that the shade differences are very, very similar. The Revlon one definitely is more cool toned than the NYX one, but it's perfect for every day. This one is the same type of thing though, where it's like a my lips but better type of color. And it has that classic like sweet, Revlon scent. You guys know what I'm talking about. I love that scent and I know a lot of people don't like it, but I freaking love it. That's like one of my favorite things about these Revlon lipsticks is how delicious they smell. Also, I want to point out with this lipstick, you don't get much product. I haven't used this a ton, but you really don't get much product in these. And it's like, for me, the packaging is an obnoxious size for how little amount of product you get. 
honestly like that product only goes down to like here but you could think like they could take out like half of this bottom part <sighs> that's one thing that really frustrates me about this but I can find it so easy in my collection too so it's like a give and take with this one. I'm definitely going to be keeping it because the shade is so perfect on my skin and on my lips. And it's very soft and buttery. You can reapply it super easy without a mirror. I love this one. But the packaging kind of drives me crazy because it's so unnecessarily big. And I just don't appreciate that. I want something to be small and compact and work well. I'm going to be keeping this one. I just wanted to give a little blurb about it. I did use this at the very beginning, like right after I picked out all my shades. I brought this to work with me for a week and I wore it every single day and I really, really liked it. So definitely going to be keeping this one. And the very last one that I have here is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Brooklyn. I wore this in one of my videos. If I can save a screenshot from it, I will. But this one is such a beautiful like pink red color. I love it. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it as much as I did, but I remember when I first purchased this and I wore it a ton, I really, really liked it. And it doesn't dry down completely, but really close. So I am so happy with this color. Here it is here. I just, I really enjoy this color and I would definitely repurchase this if I lost it because I don't have anything else this color. Like, I don't know what it is about the Ultra Satin formula, but it's so much better than the Ultra Matte. It's very soft on the lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. It, do, it just, it feels nice and hydrating. Even when it does dry down a little bit more, it doesn't feel dry and cracky on the lips, kind of like this one that I'm wearing from Kat Von D. And I really appreciate that about these. These do go bad a lot more quickly than other formulas. I've noticed the ColourPop ones, they just don't last as long. So I'm not gonna be purchasing anytime soon because I do have a bunch in my collection, but I plan on using this one over the summer and enjoying it because it is such a beautiful pink color for the summer. I mean, honestly, when I wore this in one of my videos, like I said, I will find a clip and leave it somewhere. When I wore this in one of my videos, I got so many compliments on my lip color and this is what I was wearing. So you guys know that in my videos, I always list down below in the description box what lip color I'm wearing and usually what's on my eyes for the day. And this one was one of them and I really enjoyed it. So I'm definitely keeping this one and I do enjoy the Ultra Satin formula from ColourPop. Okay, so just a little recap, I am getting rid of four colors, the Pure Lip Lure in Mystic, the LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil in Pretty Pink, the Wet n Wild in Ready to Swoon, and the Ofra in Napa Valley. So I'm getting rid of four. And I am going to be keeping all these. I'm going to be keeping the Revlon in Sand, the NYX in Cocoa Bean, the Lip Lure in, oh, what shade is this? Fancy, the Tart Tartist lip paint in XOXO, the Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick, I got it, in <laughs> Devious Dolly, the um, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Ludwig, which is on my lips right now, and the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Brooklyn. So these are the ones I'm gonna be keeping. I am keeping a total of seven out of that bundle of lipsticks. So, ah. Uh, I just put my hand, do you see why I'm getting rid of the other lip lure? Like literally, I just put my hand just barely and it's all over my hand. Oh, I hate that one. I cannot wait to get it out of my collection. I'm so mad that just happened. Anyways, I'm gonna go wash my hands cause this is gonna drive me freaking nuts being on there. And then, look, it's already stained. I hate that. And then I am going to shop my stash for some new lip colors for the next update of my lipstick roulette. So here we go. So I didn't pick out like a super variety this time because I just picked out ones that I really want to decide if I should keep or not. So I have a bunch of ColourPop ones in here. Sorry, I know you guys are probably sick of seeing ColourPop ones, but I have a ton of them and I really want to see which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to get rid of. So I have a ColourPop Ultra Metallic Lip and this one has gotten used quite a few times, but I don't really remember it. This is in the shade Flitter and here it is here. It's like a pink with like a gold shift in it or a gold glitter in it. And I'm going to try that one out. Then I have a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. This one's in the shade London Fog and it's more of a red color. They do have this one in a lip liner. I did not purchase the lip liner to go with this one, but I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna need one with this. So I'm gonna try it both ways with and without. Kind of like the Tarte one and see how I like that. 
Then for the last Yep, the last ColourPop one that I picked out is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, and this one's in the shade Times Square. I don't remember wearing this one at all, and it seems like a very nude color, kind of like the color I have on today. I don't know, we'll see about this one, see if I like that. Then I have one from Elizabeth Mott, and this one is the Color Is Bay Liquid Lipstick, and this one's in the shade Moxie Mauve, and I know I purchased this last year at some point and I don't remember ever using it. Why am I purchasing stuff without using it? I don't know. Your guess is probably better than mine but I'm gonna try the one out and see if I like it. Then I have two more liquid lipsticks. This one is the Sephora Collect Collection. This is the Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel. Why? Why is the name that long? Whew. Anyways, this one is in the shade... 17 pin up pink and this one's like a super pink color and I wanted to test this gloss out and see if it would be a good shade for me for the summertime because I do love my pinks in the summer so I'm going to test that out and that is like a gel formula and then I have the Ulta Beauty matte lip cream and this one doesn't have a shade on it of course it doesn't because that's how my life goes. This is a mini and this one is in the purple one. I got this one when I got like a whole like bundle of them. It was like a big kit two Christmases ago. So this one's getting old, but this is in a purple shade. I typically don't wear purple, but I figured I would try it out and see if it's something I can keep in my collection. It does say it's a matte lip cream. So I'm hoping that it dries down completely because with these type of colors, I need them to dry down completely. So I'm gonna try that one out. And then I have three of like the standard type of lipsticks. I have the Wet n Wild, I don't know, it's called Dark Wine. It's the 99 cent lipsticks from Wet n Wild. It does look like I have worn it a couple times, so I'm going to test that out and see if that's something I can deal with. And then I have the Maybelline Color Sensational, and this one is in the shade 775 raging raisin i'm kind of going to put these like up up you know back to back and try to see if these are ones that i like it looks like i've only swatched this one maybe i don't remember wearing it ever it looks brand new so i'm going to test that one out and see how that goes and then i have a red lip and this is the smashbox be legendary lipsticks in the shade legendary this one i got in one of my boxes it is a pure red lipstick and i'm going to see if i like this one because i do have another mini of this and if i don't like this one that i've already used i might as well give away my other mini because if i'm not going to use this why would i keep the other one that i have right that makes no sense Anyways, you know what? I want to grab one more color. Let me do that. Okay, and I realized I had a bunch of darks in like the standard lipstick formula, so I wanted to grab a lighter one. This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Safari, and it is a sheer color. It is very, very orange. <laughs> very orange, and I've never worn it. I'm sure I've only swatched this because I don't typically wear colors like this, but now that I'm kind of in the colorful phase of my life, this is, um... Probably not going to be a color that I like, but we shall see. And I will test this one out. It is a sheer formula, so with these kind of colors, I like typically more of a full coverage type of formula, but I'm going to try this out and see if I like it. That gives us 10 lipsticks to try out for the next... I don't know however long it takes me to try all these out because I don't want to give you guys an update. I was going to try to update like consistently every two weeks, but for me, sometimes I don't get a chance to wear it enough to really find out if I like it or not. And I don't want to review a product for you guys that I haven't gotten to try, you know, more than once. That doesn't make sense. You can't get a full review on a product only wearing it one time or only putting it on for a video and then taking it off after the video. That just doesn't make sense at all. And I don't appreciate when people give me a full review on things when they've only worn them once or twice. Like, come on. I want you to wear it for like a month and then see how you like it. You know what I mean? So typically with those lighter shades, I'm gonna just bring them to work and wear it every single day at work and see how that goes. And then for the darker shades, I'm probably gonna wear for like a night out or at home, like right when I get home, put it on and see how I like it. Because the darker shades, I'm a little bit more iffy about because I don't want it to get all over my face if I'm out and about. You know what I mean? Anyways, 
So let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if there's anything. If you guys check out my Shop My Stash collection and you see any lip colors that you specifically want me to put into this lipstick roulette for like the next time, let me know down below and I can put those in if you guys are curious about any specific formula or any specific colors or types or whatever and I can do my next review like that. And also make sure you check me out on Instagram. I have a lot of things coming up on my Instagram that I'm really excited about and showing to you guys and yeah just being a little bit more active on my Instagram both of my accounts are linked below but I can put them right here as well I have like a personal one and then I have a beauty one so if you're interested in both that's cool I do a lot of like food stuff and family stuff on my personal one and then I do just beauty related things on my beauty one so yeah I'm having a lot of fun on Instagram lately like and it's just enjoyable for me I don't know Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lipstick roulette update and I think I did pretty good getting rid of four more lipsticks out of my collection that I'm not going to use and just continuing on the process because I've been noticing I've been wanting other lipsticks and I'm like, no, I'm doing a lipstick roulette. There's a reason why I'm doing it because I don't want to buy formulas that I don't like and I don't want to buy shades and colors that I don't like either because that's just silly. That makes no sense. <sighs> And it drives me crazy that I want things that just, they don't work for me. And I'm not going to wear them, so why am I going to keep purchasing them, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.